Okay, Matt. Uh, this week we're going to start in your pectoral region. Okay. Um, I think it's really an, an easy place to start um, identifying things like his trapezius muscle right here, um, his deltoid muscle out here, uh, and then his pectoral major muscle right here. Visible from the surface, you barely even have to look for it. Um, his clavicle um, is just starting to pop out right there. Um, and while it's kind of difficult to see, if you follow the clavicle down to its end, um, you should be able to find where it, there's an abrupt turn, and that's going to be the acromion of the scapula. Um, a little bit tougher part of the scapula to find would be the coracoid process, uh, and probably the easiest way to find that would be to look for this groove right here uh, between the deltoid muscle and the pectoralis major. This is called the delto-pectoral triangle, um, hence the name delto pectoral triangle <laughs> and um, this is probably the easiest place to get your finger down in there and try and find a bony prominence um, which would be the coracoid process um, and I think I can feel it just right on this side of my finger well, right yeah, one there. of the things you can do that will help you find that sometimes is just see if you can leave that completely limp for me Raising his hand here mm -hmm. makes a little bit of slack in the big pectoralis major muscle. And so then you can feel that coracoid process much easier. Easier to feel through those muscle yeah. fibers feel if they relax. It. It's different. Oh, it's totally different. Right. Right. Yeah. Cool. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, and that's an important uh, place to find because it is uh, the attachment of pectoralis minor. Great. Up there, so good job. You know, uh, shoulder pain is something that most people experience at some time in their life. Very common. And, yes. <laughs> and um, so the muscles and, and the places that you want to look for trouble if somebody has shoulder pain, um, of course if it's up here then you're looking for uh, levator scapula or the trapezius. Um, Commonly, that's the problem. But if it's out here, a lot of people just assume then that it's a rotator cuff situation. Mm -hmm. um, and you can feel the rotator cuff tendons. If you drop off the acromion process here, then you've got uh, supraspinatus. Mm -hmm. um, If you feel right up at the top, I think of the bicipital groove, mm -hmm. then you can feel uh, subscapularis. Sure. Um, and if you drop off the acromion and go posterior, then pretty soon you get um, infraspinatus. Mm -hmm. And then just a little further down, you get teres minor. Great. So you can feel all of those uh, rotator cuff tendons there. And if somebody has a rotator cuff issue, you're going to find tenderness at one of those insertion points. Okay. If people are experiencing pain like just to the, uh, just medial to their scapula,
then um, lots of times we need to get this pectoralis major muscle and pectoralis minor muscle to lengthen a bit because um, lots of times when people are working out in front of them a lot, uh, I'm sure you all know <laughs> that these muscles get shortened and then they're constantly pulling your shoulders forward which will then lead you to feel pain in your back because those erector spinae muscles and the rhomboid muscles are constantly trying to get those shoulders back where they go. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> so they are both stretching and contracting simultaneously, which I believe is called eccentric contraction. Mm -hmm. is the hardest thing for a muscle to do, mm -hmm. um, which is why we all have this pain. If you just go straight down here, everybody's got pain between their shoulder blades there. Right. Um, and a lot of massage therapists will just work in that area where people are feeling the pain. Um, but if, if you want to uh, participate in that person being more comfortable in their whole life and not just on the massage table, then you totally have to work these uh, pectoralis major muscles and the, and the pectoralis minor muscles. All right. So this is a nice move just to massage the trapezius on the far side of his neck and then trapezius on the near side. And one of the things that I believe in doing um, as part of a massage is to help people feel good while it's happening. Um, it helps them relax and if people are relaxed then it's much easier to get to those deep tissues of the body where maybe some of the work needs to go on. So I, a lot of what I do in the beginning is just soothing. Is this feeling good Matt? Yes. Some massage therapists will avoid the work as on women especially because it is so close to the breast tissue. Um, but as you can see on mat, uh, if you keep the breast covered up, you can still work a huge portion of that pectoralis major muscle. Um, so once you get this muscle loosened up like this and lengthened, so you shorten and then lay your arm down and lengthen the muscle and that's kind of a myofascial maneuver that usually feels fabulous. Mm -hmm. Feels fabulous? Yes. Excellent. Yes, it does. Okay, and I'm just coming right on through the deltoid there too. Uh, once you get that softened up, then you do want to, uh, if you feel there's two kind of bumps on the ribs right here, that you can feel. And if you drag your hand right up to the clavicle, that kind of sets the stage for then dropping your fingers and thumbs into the intercostal spaces um, where the pectoralis major attaches. At the so these can be very tender points, which is one of the reasons that you want to soften and lengthen that muscle first. Um, usually they'll be a little less tender after that. If they are tender, then you know that you need to really spend some time on this muscle. And that that's probably part of the reason that their back was mm -hmm. painful when you were working back there, um, if you worked on them prone to begin with. So I'm just going to rest my belly on your arm here. <laughs> just don't worry about okay. that, okay? So I'm just massaging the attachments of pectoralis major right in the intercostal spaces, just, just off the sternum. And then on the far side here, you can kind of tuck your fingers in there and then massage kind of back and forth like this is what I'm doing. That pectoralis major muscle. Let's rest this hand up on his body. Does that feel comfy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you just relax now? Yeah, shut up. That's a laugh. <laughs> you are. A little ticklish, Stevie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should get your hands up on that one. No worries. 
Okay, so just let that arm fall out. Then you're gonna be less. You're gonna be less ticklish, okay. I think, if we do it this way. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so take a deep breath. Good, and just let that breath go now. There we go. Did that tickle that time? A little bit, that last. Okay, great. <laughs> So what you're doing is you're just inserting your fingers between the pectoralis major and the ribs. So mm -hmm. take a breath right into that space there again, Matt. Excellent. And just let it go. Perfect. And that feels good, yes, right? Yes, it does, yeah. Once it quit tickling. <laughs> I'm so accustomed to doing this over the sheet. Uh, so the sheet goes in under pectoralis major with my fingers. Um, and that helps even if you don't have any fingernails, um, which I don't. <laughs> if you're going deep into tissue uh, and, and pushing the skin with your fingers, people are going to feel your fingernails. So you just lay your fingers on their um, ribs towards the table or posterior to the breast tissue, which sometimes will kind of uh, fall out to the side here a little bit. Under the breast tissue, under pectoralis major, take a breath. And at the level of the nipple, that's where we're going in. Any tenderness there for you, Matt? Okay, this will be tender on many people. So we go up, then there are three attachments of pectoralis minor on the ribs. Um, so we are going to go up to the next one. Take a breath. And if you just go on the exhalation, uh, it just feels so easy mm -hmm. to slide in there under that pectoralis major muscle. Any tenderness there for you, Matt? No. Great. And there's one more attachment. So breath kind of high in your chest here. Good. And just let it go. Perfect. No tenderness there either? A little bit there. A little bit there? Okay. So breath, pushing my fingers. Perfect. And then just thinking of letting go of your arm bones and softening right under my fingers there. Did it go away yet? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you'll find that usually within three breaths that kind of tenderness will go away. I am not sliding over the skin at all. I am pushing up under the skin and the muscle. You're just kind of moving pec major out of the way. I am, that's exactly, I'm moving pec major and any breast tissue that there is. Completely. Is another little myofascial technique. So straight arm, Matt, mm -hmm. this is a cooperative okay. move. So you're going to kind of reach for your right hip okay. and then in a diagonal, just extend your arm out that way through your exhalation okay. and just let it go down onto the table. Great. Okay, so bring it back on over. Excellent. And breathe in. And then exhaling, take it up. That's great. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in, hand to hip. Good, and exhaling. Very nice. So that is the motion that uh, pectoralis minor provides for the body. So um, we should have lengthened that muscle at that point and the tenderness that we would normally find if we get our fingers right on that muscle, um, will probably have disappeared. Uh, and then those places under, uh, on their back, medial to their scapulae, will feel so much better. Like the stuff that would not release when you were working on their backs and they were laying prone 
will just immediately let go. You can already feel it. <laughs> can you? Seriously, yeah. I can feel my back. You can feel it in your back, what, what I just did. Yeah. That's awesome. It feels almost like, I don't know, like stretching after a good run. Yes. A little heavier. Yes. Oil up this part of your hand here really well, right here. And then we're just going to walk our fists. My fist is like this. Down. Okay, try not to lift up your hands. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's okay, no worries. And take a big breath. Pushing up against my hands with your breath. Good, and then just shoulders falling down over my hands there. Does that feel better on this side mm -hmm. than it, it does. does on the other side? It's a little bit looser on my left side, yeah. Mm -hmm. 